show you guys the hair that we're using. We used five packs of this Mali braid. This is the Sombre Retweet Light Purple. So it's Sombre Retweet Light Purple. So here's the things I used. You got your latch hook, your gator clip, your rat tail comb, can't forget the oil, castor oil, your shiny gem, your butterfly clip. The inside and for the ends, I use this Expression African Collection 1B Lavender. It looks like this. I use one and a half packs of this, and then I use the one pack of this Jumbo Braid Interface Freestyle Pastel Color, and this is in 1B Purple to Light Purple, and it looks like this. Sombre Retweet Light Purple. Or whatever it says. And this is what it looks like. Hey you guys, it's Jayla D here again with another hair tutorial. And today we're going to be doing some lavender faux locks on my lovely client here. Her hair is fairly short, but she just wanted a change. So we pre-cut her and did an undercut, a very low undercut because her hair grows fast and we want her style to last pretty long. And then we're just gonna blow dry the rest of her hair out so it can have maximum length for when it's time for me to braid so I don't have to work my fingers too hard in order to catch her hair. Now we're gonna be using the free part method where basically we're just parting out rounded parts that are around the same size and width. I also want to apologize for the face mask. I have been really sick lately, but you know, when you work for yourself, there's no days off whether you're sick or not, so I just put on that face mask and I did what I had to do. Because her hair is so soft and it's short, I'm going to braid the braiding hair in. That way, I don't have to worry about any slippage and her locks will last a lot longer. Also, you don't have to braid these all the way down. It will put you in a position to move faster. And also, just braid a little bit past the client's hair and you can leave the rest loose because nobody's gonna see it. It's gonna be wrapped up underneath the Marley hair anyway. So right here you can see we've finished putting in her braids all around her head. Some of them where her hair was longer, I just twisted them in for the sake of working faster. I'm going to spray her scalp with some oil just to coat and protect it. What I really love about this oil is it smells so good. My clients love it. It also adds a nice shine to the hair. Now I'm going to get started with the lock and I'm going to take two pieces of Marley hair. This allows for the lock to be nice and voluminous but still natural looking. And then I'm going to take my latch hook and insert it through the base of the braid. And then I'm going to pull all the way through until I get to where the black part of the Marley hair begins. I'm doing this because I want it to have a seamless blend from her natural root, which is also dark, 
into the lavender. This causes it to look as natural as possible and giving you a seamless blend for your faux lock. And then I just begin wrapping, continuing to keep my tension, but also making sure that I wrap where there's no gaps. Once I get down to the bottom, I'm going to switch with my leftover hair and then continue to wrap all the way down. I did use an extra piece of Marley hair cut in half to wrap all the way down to the end because she wanted her locks to be fairly longer than the standard size. So in order to do that properly, we had to cut the Marley hair in half and just add on to the lock. And once you get all the way down to the end, we seal it with some nail glue. And you'll see in a clip later how exactly how I seal it with the nail glue. Color. Right. 
but even the blonde ones now, because I found the hair, the new hair is not wrapped up in the blonde, but with these, yeah, it's really oh, good. Also, I braided them in, so that took a little bit, that takes a little bit more effort, right? But security, maybe I'm gonna start with that too, right. Now they go Brittany, she do my lashes, yeah. See if you hear she do my lashes. That's what I'm gonna do. Stop this video. <laughs> so this is what the ends are looking like. I'm gonna take my boiling tea camera. Hold it for a little bit. And it gives you this cute little scrunched up look right here. Pull them up, show us them pulled up. Yes, look at that. See, look at that. No pain, no gain. Any growth in your bum? Ooh, child. It's like, no, let me stop. Get your goddess lips today. 
Thank you, thank you guys. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.